On a Monday, the euro managed to avoid a decline following the publication of industrial production data in the eurozone. Most likely, such a positive outcome for the euro today was possible thanks to sluggish trading activity in the United States, where Martin Luther King Jr. Day is celebrated. According to the report, the rate of decline in industrial production volumes in the eurozone accelerated to minus 6.8 from a minus 6.6, contrary to the expectations of a slowdown to minus 5.7%. That's the decline returns to the level seen in August 2020 during the pandemic. As the United States observes a holiday today, the market is almost standing still as the trading activity in the US is low. American investment funds, however, control a significant portion of the world's financial capital. And this trading mode will likely persist until tomorrow when the UK publishes its employment data. On the chart, we can see that the euro dollar pair has entered the corrective phase and entered the sideways channel in the range between 1.09 and 1.10. This movement indicates a slowdown in the correction cycle and a gradual increase on the volume of long positions for the euro. From a technical standpoint, traders are focusing on two main methods when trading within the flat channel. They should wait either for a bounce or breakout from the channel boundaries. This strategy is considered optimal until the channel completes its formation. The pound dollar pair is moving close to the upper boundary of the sideways channel at 1.26 and 1.28. This price fluctuation indicates growth in the volume of long positions but no radical changes are observed on the trading chart. In these conditions, the traders um, choose uh, tactics over working within a sideways channel. A bounce off one of the key levels is uh, possible until the channel completes its formation. A flat movement is um, a temporary condition, and the breakout is considered to be the main trading methods in uh, this case as it reveals the sentiment of the market and the next direction of the price. And that's all for now. We continue to follow developments in the financial markets. I will going to be in the short term in financial markets. We will definitely tell you in our next news release. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss important news.